Hey, how's it going everybody? So, uh, today's video is kind of gaming related, but uh, it's not a game. So, I have a unique uh, problem uh, with my setup. So, I run a two PC setup. Now, on my gaming rig, I am running Linux Mint 21.3 with the latest 6.8 kernel. And the issue I have is that I have a second PC set up beside it for recording and streaming. And unfortunately, uh, the capture card that I have uh, is an Avermedia Live Gamer HD2, which is a PCIe uh, capture card, which means if I want to record my gameplay and everything, I have to send all the audio through an HDMI cable from my gaming PC over into my capture card. Now, there is an alternative to that, which is to uh, use a three and a half millimeter headphone patch cable and run it from the sound card on my gaming PC into the line in on my capture card. However, there is a rather unique problem uh, with the audio uh, sending it from the Linux PC through either one of those connections over to the uh, recording PC. And the recording PC, by the way, is running Windows 11. Uh, it was a necessary evil. Uh, I had to do it because I haven't yet figured out a way to get Lin a, any version of Linux, really, running on my recording PC that will actually recognize that capture card and allow me to use it. I've already tried it once, and yeah, it just doesn't work. Um, when you start up the computer and open OBS, uh, OBS will see the card at first, for about 10 seconds and then it's just like capture card what's capture card i i don't know what you're talking about there's no capture card here and it just completely loses the capture card and you can't get it back in there so i went through and i had to reinstall linux or sorry windows uh back on the recording pc so, now, the issue I run into with the sound uh, was that initially the sound was going through uh, an HDMI cable from the graphics card on my gaming PC over into the capture card, and what I was getting was really loud static and this high-pitched coil whine. And at first I was like, what the f really weird. Um, well, it could be either my power supply or it could be my graphics card. And I don't think it's my graphics card because that's less than a year old, unless there was something really faulty with it that I didn't know about. But the uh, more likely problem would have been my power supply because the power supply that's in my gaming computer right now is over 10 years old this is the third pc that that power supply has uh serviced uh it is currently working in this one it was working in my previous gaming pc and the one before that so um i thought maybe okay maybe you know my power supply is finally giving up the ghost, and uh, turns out that no, it actually wasn't. Uh, turns out it's actually the audio engine, Pulse Audio, in Linux that was the problem. Pulse Audio uh, will send the audio through the HDMI cable. It will even send it uh, through a... Uh, audio card that's built into the motherboard from this PC to that one 
or if you've got the cable for it, which I've got it here somewhere. Ah, it's on that desk behind me. Uh, I have a USB-C cable that has a three and a half mil headphone jack in it, which I use for my phone. Uh, and I plugged that in and ran that into the line in on my capture card. And the problem with it is that Pulse Audio uh, by default runs at 44.1 kilohertz. And so on that end, the sending end of it, it defaults to 44.1. My capture card defaults to 44.8. And so there's a timing issue between the two. And Pulse Audio is just throwing hissy fits all over the place. I've got crackling. I've got coil whine. It sounds terrible. And certain games that I started up like in Shrouded, again, that problem came up. And every time I would move my mouse, you would hear the pitch of the whine go up and down a little bit here and there as I looked around in the world. So... I did a little investigating the other day, and uh, yesterday finally found the solution. Looked around on Google, and I found a website called askubuntu.com. Because I typed in the question, uh, why am I getting static and crackling in my HDMI uh, in Linux? And this came up. So I read this little article here. And these guys are talking about it, and he's this guy is running, he went from Windows 8.1 to Ubuntu, and he started having problems with his graphics card, the crackling and uh, all that. And somebody came up and said, oh, hey, yeah, there is a solution for that. And so here it is. So what you've got to do is open up Terminal. And I'll just put that over there. And you type this line into terminal. And I'll tell you what, I will type that line in and you can see exactly what this does. So we'll just copy that and we're going to paste that into terminal and hit enter. And well, I have to type in my password. And it comes up with this, GNU Nano 6.2. So this is the Pulse Audio. Now you have to access this through the command uh, architecture because it does not have a, uh, a UI. So if you start scrolling down, and it says there, look for load module, module UDEV detect. So you scroll down here a little bit and eventually, you find this thing and it is actually down here a little ways. Oh, I went past it. Never mind. It was up there. Okay, so this is the line right here. Load module, module UDEV detect. This TE sketch that you see here, or shouldn't actually even be there. Um, I'm not even sure why that's there. That is actually wrong. It should be T sketch. So this is the line you add to it. So basically you take this, copy that, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this is what the line should look like right here. And then you can go here and you can paste that in and then add tschedge equals zero onto the end of it. And then you hit control X to save it. And then it'll ask you, you sure you want to do this? You, you hit Y and then it will tell, and then you close down terminal and reboot your PC. And like this person said, I did this and after a reboot, the static was gone and the crackling was reduced a lot. 
well, my crackling has disappeared. Um, as you can hear right now, or can't hear right now, <laughs> uh, the crackling and the coil line are completely gone. So now using HDMI is actually enjoyable. Thanks a lot. Uh, and then other people with other cards saying, yep, worked for me too. And worked in Pop OS, uh, works in Linux Mint, works in Ubuntu. Uh, this guy down here has uh, an ATI R7260X. It worked for him. So, yeah, that is the workaround for it in order to send the audio from one PC to another PC. Even if that other PC is running Linux, uh, you will still run into this issue if you're sending the audio over HDMI. And this problem fixes that timing uh, in Pulse Audio to take the crackling and the coil line out of it. So now when I open up uh, in Shrouded, I no longer get the whine and the static that I was getting before. It's now all just beautifully clean audio. And part of the reason for this, other than recording everything, uh, on that PC is that my headphones and my microphone are plugged into the recording PC. They are not plugged into my gaming PC. So all of the audio from my gaming PC actually gets routed through that HDMI cable into the capture card in the recording PC. And then from the recording PC comes through a really long, uh, the USB cable back over to my uh, mixer board over there and then goes to my headphones. So yeah, my uh, setup is a little weird according to some people who are like, oh my god, you need this in between them and you need that and this other thing. Uh, and I find that this is actually a much better solution. I don't need as much equipment to uh, hook up to my system to link the two together. Uh, people are like, oh, well, you need a Go XLR, or you need this, or you need that. And I'm kind of like, well, no, I don't. Like, you route the audio from this one to that one through an HDMI cable, plug in your headphones and your microphone into that other PC, and good to go. Uh, you hear all the audio from both PCs in your headphones. And added benefit of this. Uh, <laughs> I can be playing games on this PC, on the gaming PC. And meanwhile, over on my recording PC, uh, I am recording this video right now. And I can be, I can have Spotify running on that PC. And I can be sitting here listening to tunes on Spotify, playing a game and recording a video at the same time. The audio from Spotify does not go in my video. It goes straight to my headphones. So that's one added little benefit to it. Um, and yeah, that uh, pretty much sums up the weird little uh, setup that I have and have had for a couple of years now. Um, like I really researched this thing in how to get my audio from one PC to the other. People were like, oh, well, you can use it, uh, run it over your network. Uh, you can just run it through a patch, a network patch cable uh, from one PC to the other PC. You can do it this way, do it that way. And I found what I think is a better solution because your graphics card has uh, technically an audio card built into it. I mean, HDMI is for audio and video. So, yeah, 
it only made sense to send both signals through the HDMI and the capture card captures both signals through that one cable. So there you go. Uh, that's all I got for today. And I will come back with a gaming video later on. In fact, I think I'm going to go play a game now. And uh, I'll record that video for you. And I'll put it out later on. So until then, I'll catch you later.